We don't on. like gold music. We don't like loud announcers. We don't really like Bristol. We don't like Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> Right, hello, welcome back to another Max on Tour video, another Saturday, another neutral game, another early morning. It's not actually that cold, so we are okay. Today, we're off to Bristol Rovers versus Southend. Southend are probably the worst side in the Football League this season, they're so poor. Another mega bus journey, another new ground, another visit of Owen, he's made it this week. I've made it this week, I've, got, I've just about got myself out of bed this week. You had a difficult situation last week. Yeah, I um, drank too much. Basically. Yeah, you haven't said, anyway. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we went to Solul on Monday. If you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend it because it was just absolutely mental. Um, we also went to go and watch Bristol Rovers a couple of weeks ago at Shrewsby, so if you are a Bristol Rovers fan, go and check that out. But today, new stadium, new group of fans, hopefully it'll be a good one, hopefully the atmosphere is decent. Let's just get the Megabus from Brom down to Bristol. Let's have it. Megabus, we're back. Morning, Simon. Morning, how are we? Are you excited for Bristol Rovers away? Yeah, can't wait, although I've got some more than next two, mate. Full arm asleep on the whole of that seat. And a foot is literally like touching my leg. Sweet, if it touches my leg, I'm going to kick it Not, not a hotel. Hiya. Shocker. The joys of the Megabus. Cheers, Megabus. It's been a pleasure. The pedestrian pedestrianisation of Bristol is good. Spoons. We're on our way to Spoons. You know the drill, boys. We get here, we find a Spoons. It's a bit of a bit of a walk, but we don't mind. Up the Bristol. What is this? It's, like, it's ancient around here. What's this? What are these called? The Christmas. They're called the Christmas Steps. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas, one and all. Now look at that sign, boys. You can't beat it. Get in. Sun is out here overseas. Dark emotions ever torn so deep. Falling down through the clouds. It does look a, look a bit like a prison. It, like, this is a bit. Oh, Superstore, that'll do, mate. What's all that about, then? Any thoughts? Pirate, pirate. Pirate, my barber. <laughs> Go on, Simon. You see how small it is? Look, that will not. Oh, it suits you, you know. Peaky, peaky blinders. Peaky blinders. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. That is shocking. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh, Simon's found his genre. Why is yeah. that so small? I don't know. Yeah, because you've got a meat head. <laughs> Show us the badge. Oh, on the, yeah. Fashion icon Simon Lines. Weird in it, it's like they've got like six different stands. They've got one stand there, another stand there, another different looking stand there. Stand there, it's just, it just looks different everywhere. I kind of like it, it's a bit weird. It's quite, it does look like they've like just dug a hole in the ground and stuck a football pitch there. Like it's all lower down than everything else. But it's character. And another thing to know is well, the away end is really bizarre. Basically, I'll show you the away end in a minute. Basically, it's that tiny section on the left and then that there. So it's split across. Why they don't just give them that bit beyond the goal, I don't know, but weird ground. But I like it. Right then, crack on with the score prediction. South end are dreadful. They Bristol are. Rovers, we've seen them. They like to score goals. I'm going to go 3 1 to Bristol Rovers. South end got a point in midweek at Burton. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll go 3 1 Bristol Rovers. Clark Harris to get two. Oh! Go on then, Simon. What are you saying? So, I reckon I'm going to go 4 2 Bristol Rovers. I fancy 4 goals. 2? Yeah, I fancy goals. South end score goals, but they also can't defend either. So 
I'm feeling a few goals, 4-2. Two, two, Last two. time I said I fancy goals, it was 0-0 at Forest Green, so... Um, I don't know, because Southend are really poor. I know they've got Sol Campbell in charge, but they're doing really badly. I'm going to go 4-1 Bristol Rovers. Obviously the biggest club in Bristol, so hopefully they get a result. Up the gas. Um, everyone seems to have Clark Harris shirts on, so he'll score. And that go-go geezer as well. He scored at Shrewsbury, so uh, come on. Alright, so um, right, bit so of a I'll sum up the first half. South End have been very good considering the position they're in in the league. Bristol Rovers have been absolutely dreadful. They cannot move the ball forward at all. I don't particularly like this ground anymore and the fans are dreadful. They have one like club anthem they've tried to get going about seven or eight times. It's not that going. And then every other song is about Bristol. It's bad, City. isn't it? It's, it's bad. It's good after I mean. At least Bristol City, they have that section in the corner where there's a yeah, bit of noise yeah. like. Up the city. <laughs> yeah, before this, I was fully Rovers. Not now. Obviously the biggest club in Bristol, so hopefully they get a result. So the reason why I didn't do anything in the first half, you couldn't get your camera I couldn't get my camera I was right in the middle of like the hardcore. They kept on shoving us because they knew who I was. They kept on shoving me, just taking a piss, just doing these little snidey things. And really annoyed me so I couldn't really do anything um, but yeah 2-0 South End when this video goes out when this video goes out everyone in Bristol's gonna hate us oh well I mean oh, we were just saying if Bristol Rovers come back and win 3-2 it'll be after a card yeah, we will celebrate if they all score bit, but, but Bristol is red come on Are you not happy with that? No, I don't think that's what you're doing. <laughs> wow. I, think, I think he may have died. It looks like they're not happy either. No, I know. No, South End of Fuming. South End of Fuming. He's either won the ball or he's died, but I don't think that's a penalty. No VAR, probably for the best. Penalty, Bristol Rovers. Inside a minute of the second half. Mad. Limbs. Limbs. They are bad. They're back in the game. 2-1. We don't like goal music. We don't like loud announcers. We don't really like Bristol. We don't like Bristol. <laughs> Shoot! It's gone in. Within about 10 minutes of the second half, 2-2 two, two, mate, South End, that's really poor. They've just completely collapsed South End, they, they can't do anything. You though. can see why they're second bottom. <laughs> oh. Hit it, hit it, oh my god. tried that about three times so far, it hasn't come off. He must have been about 25 yards out. Half volley, top bins, man. <laughs> Just to remind you, Simon predicted 4-2. Ooh, it's on, it, it's on. It's on, son. Oof, oh, hello. Goal. So we're out the ground, we're in some dodgy right, side right, street. Right. Talk 
to me. So, fair play Bristol Rovers, that's a good result. I mean, that's what I expected from the start, really. And they just, it took them 45 minutes to go, well, actually, I think we'll play a bit of football now. Um, what I really don't get about Bristol Rovers, um, uh, you'll see the clip put on top now. They spent literally every minute of the game. There was someone around us going, well, what's the Bristol City score? What's the Bristol their, City score? Everyone was on their what, phones. Everyone was on the phone just constantly checking the Bristol City score. So what we're going to do is for the remaining three, four, five minutes of this vlog, we're, we're going to dedicate it all to Bristol City. Because so, they are Bristol the biggest City, club. Congratulations on your win today. You were absolutely brilliant. That's a good point away from home. Just, just hang on. Rewind to what I said at the start of this video. Oh, yeah. Bristol Rovers are apparently the biggest club in the city. Boop. Do you not? They don't even have the name. So, Bristol out City. Out the red. Bristol is so red. It's so unbelievably red. Oh, it's Robins, so red. Robins. 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 Up the Robins. We may have been them 5 0 a couple of years ago, but my God, this city this is, is so red. Look how red it is. No, Bristol City Yellow Pride. They just remind me of they just, oh, that by the woman, what about the woman that came out of the ground? Oh yeah, but so we've literally spent like we're walking up the ground slating and this is bollocks. Anyway, this one beyond goes, what did the Bristol City score finish? Like, honestly, sure they are honestly the obsession. Sure it's so sure weird. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, of the Bristol City, up the boys anyway. Christmas shopping, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna buy this. You look, you, kinda, yeah. you, you look nice, man. Look nice, yeah. 18 quid though, a bit steep. Is it? Oh yeah. Christ. Leave. Hang on. Oh my god, oh my god, gamer, gamer. Ah, oh, what a day, what a day. Um, um, yeah, it's a bit of a funny one. Like We, we got to our, our bit where we were standing in the terrace behind the goal, um, and these lads just, like, just kept on shoving us. Obviously, they knew who we were, because I spoke to one of them, they knew who we were. So whether that was why they kept on shoving us and like throwing themselves into us for just no reason, I'm not too sure. You know, bit of a funny one that. So that was that got a little bit annoying. That's why I didn't do anything in the first car in the first half because I knew oh, if, if I got my camera out, all that vlogger kid's got his camera out, and it would have got a little bit, little bit much. So we moved for the second half, and it was good, all good second half. We stood with some nice blokes, and you know had a good time as you saw. Um, but the, yeah, the whole Bristol City thing is really weird. Like Villa Blues, right? Um, obviously, let's be honest, we're both obsessed with each other, but. During the game, we don't stand on our phone. We might check it once or twice, but we don't stand on our phone the whole game checking the blue score and then come out the ground and say, oh, what, what, what was the blue score? As if, like, it's, it's the main concern. Bristol City and Bristol Rovers was a really funny one, and literally all the time they were always checking the Bristol City score, and even, like Owen said, coming out the ground, there was this woman that said, what was, what was the Bristol City score? And that obsession's weird. All the songs as well, I think, bar one, like, had a go at Bristol City, which, you know, Villa have got their songs about blues, that's all good, but, like, every one was about Bristol City. It was really funny. So, um, you saw before the game, I was like, yeah, Bristol Rovers, biggest club in Bristol, they're the boys. Mm, not anymore. I'm firmly, firmly in the Bristol City camp now. Up the Robins, up the Reds. Fantastic result for the boys today. Great 2-1 win away at Fulham. Um, obviously, they are the biggest club in Bristol, and they are streets, streets ahead of Bristol Rovers. But, you know, unique ground at Bristol Rovers, which I thought was quite good. Um, decent result in the end as well, coming down, coming back from uh, four, no, two 0 down, and winning four two with a screamer as well. So that was quite entertaining. But overall, it was a bit of a funny day. I'm, I'm not, I don't really particularly want to go back to Bristol Rovers, um, unfortunately, unless I have to. Um, so Bristol City fans, um, you're the best. <laughs> But I know, I'm sure the majority, the majority, the vast majority of you Bristol Rovers fans are absolutely brilliant. I think it's just those couple of idiots just spoil it for us. Um, but yeah, we didn't have the best day in the world. But it's another one off the list in the end. Um, so yeah, leave your comment. We were actually looking today where we should be going next in the new year. We haven't got much planned um, in the new year. So let, leave your comments below on where we should be going. Um, obviously Villa tomorrow. Subscribe to Villa on Tour for that. And yeah, oh, oh, well, Brentford next week. That's the only one I've got planned. So uh, yeah, keep an eye for that. But I'll stop waffling on now. Leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. Comment all your thoughts and I'll see you on Wednesday for Brentford. See you in a bit.